I'm Warren Davis, and you're watching The Evercade Effect. Evercade Effect. Welcome, everybody. This is Ed. You're watching The Evercade Effect. I am super excited. Today, we're going to talk about Full Void and kind of uh, my interpretation of the game, the ending, everything, what it means to me. Don't worry, I'll give you fair warning uh, before spoilers. And matter of fact, the next time that you see this on the screen here, yeah, that'll give you your warning that there's going to be spoilers from then out. Um, so let me talk about why I made this video. And that's simply because oh, I, I had such a great experience. I had such low expectations of this game. I think I talked about that if I had just seen a trailer for this or anything else, I, I would have just dismissed it as, you know, kind of like lumped it in with all those other in, in, uh, indie games. <laughs> Man, I can't even talk today. And, and, and that would have been a shame, right? Uh, the fact that Evercade put this out as an exclusive, a single game cart, uh, I love that. Uh, owning a physical copy for me is great. It sits back there on the shelf, and every time I look at this, I can enjoy the experiences that I had. Uh, it took me about like four, four and a half hours. I beat this over the 2023 Christmas break within a few sessions. And uh, yeah, it was just an overall great experience. I recommend playing this game on your VS, turning up the volume loud, or, or using headphones on your EXP. Um, that's actually how I ended up beating it, was on my EXP without headphones, but I had the volume turned up. If you don't own, a, own an Evercade, I encourage you, buy this game on one of the many platforms. Um, yeah, maybe the replayability isn't there as much, but that's fine. Maybe you grab it on sale. Uh, I rated this an S-tier game when I talked about uh, all the games of 2023, so if you want to know the details of that, be sure to check out that video. And if you haven't watched my videos on my initial impressions, my follow-up two weeks later, I'll throw up some cards here so you can take a look at that. Uh, but yeah, I felt that this game was really important, uh, that I just needed to go through, you know, the, the ending of it and kind of talk about the buildup and all, and all that. But first, let's, let's go ahead. I think we need to take a look at the trailer. Um, and it kind of goes through some things. For those of you maybe who aren't familiar with the game, uh, I mean, look at this art style, right? <laughs> look, how, look how fantastic this looks. This really, like, like sets the tone and the music and everything. You see that big robot. And throughout this whole game, you're being chased by robots. And it just has this awesome, like, dark mood and everything that something is just out to get you. Something is watching you the whole time. And they really tie that in on the end, you know, going through the sewers, this kind of post-apocalyptic view. Yeah, those are crazy robots trying to, you know, just, just get you there. And then there's your buddy who helps you later on, and you have to solve riddles. And it's just, it's a really nice touch. Oh, by the way, that one was, was, was pretty tough, that one fan riddle there. Kind of funny that they, they show that in the in the trailer and there are these platforms and ledges and yeah it's just wow i just i i, I love it i mean look look at all this <laughs> cinematic so i wanted to show this at the mood oh no those kids that are like that are, that are like hung up there that that's very disturbing i'm surprised they show that in the trailer looking back because you you see that like later you know like later uh, in the game and whatnot but uh yeah so cool so cool ah! <laughs> I was ready for that at the end there. All right, all right, all right. Well, yeah, we, 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 know, we, know, we know it's available. So, um, yeah, I just did need to go ahead and, and talk about that uh, to set the mood. Now, as, as I stated, you've got robots and things chasing. You really have this feeling that you're always being chased, always being watched, and always being closed in on. And then, you you know, you, you find out, well, well, you know what? Let's go ahead. All right. All right. I think I, I think I think I've said enough. I think I think I've said enough before going and get, and getting spoiling it to get to hype it up. So now is your chance to turn back. I have warned you. <laughs> now is your chance to turn back before it's too late. Spoilers are ahead. I've given you the warning. Let's go ahead. Let's dive into it. We're just going to, you know, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to roll the ending. All right. So this is finally when you get to the last puzzle. And you see this thing is like controlling it all. You finally get to it and all that. I mean, pretty cool. I, I, I love this artwork, it's just, it's, just, it's just beautiful. You know, I'd imagine they spent a long time on this game. But yeah, it's, it's sad though, because like, look, like there's like, <laughs> there's, your, there's your buddy who went in, zoomed into that robot, did whatever to short it out. And then, oh man, that was, that was kind of, that was kind of heartbreaking. Because, uh, yeah, that's like your buddy that helps you solve riddles through a part of it. But, you know, it, 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 it had to make the sacrifice to kind of set everything free here. All right. 
That gets destroyed. I, I love how everything just like melts like that. And then you see the robots that were watching the kid, like how the kid was just like, you know, staring at the screen there, which is, you know, which is great. Now all the kids are finally, are finally free. And I love this. It says dedicated to all the children who suffered through the lockdowns of 2021. So when I heard that, like, going through COVID and everything when the game was made, like, heavily inspired this. And then seeing that and seeing that, like, you know, blurb there in the ending, I was like, oh, it finally makes sense. It finally makes sense. And we're going to we're going to get to that here in a moment. I think that they roll the credits. Yeah, yeah. So it goes through and it rolls all the all the all the full credits, which I don't, I don't think necessarily that we need to we need we need to watch that. Uh, and then the game, of course, starts, you know, starts over uh, after that. Um, so yeah, let me go back here. Sometimes things happen, wrong buttons get clicked. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, so yeah, why I thought this was so brilliant is because you saw there, like at the end, like that kid was just kind of like staring, like you know, staring at the screen. All the kids being imprisoned and everything, and, and during the lockdown, like a lot of children were kept inside, uh, weren't able to go out, weren't able to hang out with their friends. Now, for me personally, you know, I've been saying I've been social distancing, you know, prior uh, prior to COVID. Um, that was my, my, my lifestyle anyway, so this didn't bother me, but I was able to take a mental trip back in time. And I remembered when I, when I was a child, I did like to go outside. I did like to do all those things. I did like to go to hang out with friends. Uh, so to have to be restricted like that. And I also saw what my own daughter went through. Um, so I, I could really like relate to that, to have to be restricted and be inside and have no choice to be the screen. So that was kind of the message. Like the kids are trapped. They're staring at the, they're staring at the screens uh, the screens are, are you know are, are taking are taking over then at the end they finally break out of there and they finally get to go outside i mean that was just that was just really incredible for me and then it was sad you know i talked about that that little robot guy dies because throughout this he helps you a lot you have to use him to solve puzzles and everything and they the game makes so you kind of develop this emotional connection uh with your buddy with that little robot to help you so it was just very sad uh to see that you know, to see that robot die. Uh, so I like, you know, how they, how they hit that. Cause at the end, you know, how he sacrificed himself, whoosh, went in, but you didn't, but you didn't know that though. He, when he, when he, when he went into the robot to try to disrupt it, you thought, well, maybe it'll live. And then just how they did that, that animation and how it just like crumbled and the dissolving, which is brilliant in my opinion, cause it, it really invoked, it really invoked, um, you know, emotions and all that. And, you know, through this, you're also a kid and you're being, you know, and you're being, you're being chased. <laughs> You know, through through everything, and, and it's weird though because towards the end, when you get into that, I guess that kind of dome, that facility that's broken down, you just see that like the robots are studying the kids. You know, in that trailer, there's kind of that disturbing scene of the you know, those kids are you know they're they're hanging from there and falling off. So I was like, it, it was weird because they they never explained that, and I kind of like to leave it up to your imagination. So it's like, is this being disciplined? Are we gonna find out in the end that the kids power the city and everything, and they're they're, they're Harvard, you know. They're harvesting them before they become adults, so they can keep control of the children, and and, and all that. And then they, they power the city. I don't know, but I was surprised that they showed that in the trailer. So I just really like that throughout the whole thing. You're feeling chased. You're feeling trapped. And then that one main riddle that they, they showed that in the trailer again. That was you know, kind of be, beating the game and in, in saying that. But it just it invokes all these just emotions. And and that's one of the things I like about this. Kind of compared. Uh, to the Delphine collection is that game was just really just just those games in that collection like out of this world and whatnot are just really frustrating a different type of game a lot of backtracking and whatnot uh this game here it's it's really more enjoyable it's, it's more chill you sit down the puzzles aren't too impossible but they're challenging enough so you feel you feel very rewarded i only had to look online for one or two spoilers and it was just so obvious because i was overthinking it you know not the not the fault of the game and during some cinematic events, you, you can't put the controller down. And so it's always keeping you on your toes. So it's, it's chill, but there's there's a suspense. And I just, I love all these mixed emotions and everything. And then when you get to the end, there's there's the payoff. You finally freed, you know, all the other kids. Huh, I wonder what happened to the adults. <laughs> it's like, woo, <laughs> which is a, you know, which which is kind of weird. But it's just, the, this game, the way that it made me felt emotionally and for me, when I when I play games, I, the most important thing uh, for me to to look at is, hey, when I walked away, how did I feel? Did I feel good about playing the game? Did I did I feel crappy about playing the game? And 
And this game, I really felt good throughout the whole process. It's not a Metroidvania. You maybe only have to backtrack very few spots, one or two screens, but it's very linear. And it moves the story forwards. And just, I really, I, I really, really enjoyed that. So that's why I gave it, I still stand by that, you know, the best, you know, best experience of 2023. Um, and it's, it's, it's an S tier game. And then the neat thing about the physical copy, you know, as I mentioned before, sorry to blunt, is, is that when I look at this, and I have it back there on the shelf, and I can reflect and I can enjoy all these memories. It's a great collector piece. So yeah, maybe there isn't replay value as much. I mean, sure, you can go through the game and you can play it again to get the achievements, or it may just sit there for a while and may come back to it for a year or two. That's okay. These these type of games, you know, it's not, it's not all about replay value. You know, it's the experience. Um, you could also, like, relive the experience by playing it through, you know, with, with one of your children or whatnot. Um... So yeah, I think I'll go ahead and leave it here. Uh, I don't want I don't want to ramble on and have to turn like an hour video because I really think I've said uh, everything that I, I need to say. I uh, can't recommend this game enough. It's it's a great experience. What I want to know, let me know in the comments below. Have you gone through to complete this game? Did you watch the video anyways? Um, knowing it was going to be a spoiler, um, do you not have any plans on getting or beating the game? Um, yeah, I want to know all your thoughts and opinions. Let, let's get a let's get a discussion. Uh, get a discussion going because I really believe in this type of game. We need more of these type of games in Evercade. Uh, I've convinced uh, convinced my buddy Retro Rich from Bacon Ice Cream Productions. Check out his channel that he needs to go through and play through Full Void, so that me and him can both have a discussion uh, about it live. Uh, I think either on my channel or calling all retro gamers. But yeah, we're de definitely going to do that follow up video. So one one final thing, <laughs> I, I have to go ahead and you know I have to go ahead and and, and do all that do all that pluggy stuff. Uh, so yeah, if you if you like if you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to get more out of it and kind of see some behind the scenes and you know videos and other things, uh, check out you know you know check out my channel members um, uh, playlist. Uh, if you if, you know you, you can look at the thumbnails if that's something you're interested in. Go ahead and subscribe uh, to that uh, or join or join that. Um, you know really helps it really helps the channel out. And I do talk about some insights behind the scenes and I do check ins and whatnot and then uh, this channel does have a p.o box so if there's a uh, stuff that you want to go ahead and send me and have me unbox or donate anything to the channel I'm more than welcome uh, i just wanted to leave you with by no means is anybody obligated to do anything i just appreciate that you're watching this video now it means the world to me uh, if you would tap that like button on the way out that does help the algorithm and share it with a friend or two and now i'm going to go ahead and uh, thank my channel members and everybody thanks so much for watching Bye bye